This will be for the con exercise midpoint formula. All right, it says point A is at negative three, negative five, and point B is at two, five. What is the midpoint of line segment AB? All right, they show these points on the graph, but really you don't need the graph. And finding the midpoint is the same as finding the average of the X and Y coordinates. So let's take a look. So on this side, we'll find the average X and on this side, we'll find the average Y. And how do you find the average of two numbers? You simply add them and divide by two. Okay, remember the first number in the coordinates is the X coordinate and the second number is the Y coordinate. So we'll call the first coordinate x1 and y1, and we'll call the second coordinate x2 and y2. So for the average x, you want to add the two x's, x1 plus x2, and then divide by 2. For the average y, you want to add the two y's y1 plus y2, and then divide by 2. So the x coordinate is the first number, that's negative 3 plus 2. And that's divided by 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And that's still divided by two, final answer. Okay, there's no reason to make it a decimal. And now for the average Y, you just add the Y's. We have negative five plus five. And that's divided by two. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Divided by 2 is just 0. Okay. So the x coordinate is negative 1 half, and the y coordinate is 0. So there should be two boxes negative 1 half, comma, 0. Okay, right here, negative one slash two is negative one half, and the y coordinate is zero. The first one is x, the second one is y. All right, it says point A is at negative one eight, point M is at three, five point five. Point M is the midpoint of A and B. What are the coordinates of point B? Okay, again, they gave us the graph, but we don't need it. We will just do this uh, algebraically. All right, just so we're clear, we're working backwards this time. Okay, point A is actually the end point. Point M is the midpoint, and point B is going to be the other end point. All right. So we're still using um, the formula for the average X and the average Y. And the formula is still the same. It's going to be X1 plus X2 over 2. And the average Y is going to be Y1 plus Y2 over 2. Okay, so for the coordinates of the midpoint... We're going to call them, the x-coordinate is xm, and the y-coordinate is ym, all right? So the first endpoint, I'm going to call that x1, y1, and the other endpoint B that we need to find, I'm going to call that x2, y2. And the coordinates for the midpoint... We're going to call X, M, Y, M. All right. So we still just use the formula for X, 1. We plug in negative 1. 
For X2, that's what we're looking for. We don't have it. And those are both divided by 2. And that equals XM. Okay, so the midpoint X coordinate gets plugged in right there. All right, now we multiply both sides by 2. You want to do the same thing to both sides. And I'm going to need more room, so I'm going to erase, erase this for now. All right, on the left-hand side, 2 divided by 2 cancels. I'm left with negative 1 plus x2. And on the right-hand side, that equals 3 times 2, which is 6. Solving for x2, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. 1 minus 1 cancels. Bring down your x2, and that equals 7. Okay, so I'll fill in um, the 7 right here for x2 so we don't forget. And now we're going to do the same thing and solve for y2. If you want to pause and see if you can get it, try to get y2 using the same method. Okay, so now we're going to find the average y. We're actually going to work backwards again. So the average of two numbers, you add them, you add the two y's, and you divide by two. And that will give you the y coordinate for the midpoint, ym. All right, so in this case, y1 is the first endpoint. That's going to be an 8 plus y2. That's what we're looking for and divided by 2. And you set that equal to the y coordinate of the midpoint, which is right here. So that 5.5 gets plugged in right there. Okay, the opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2, and we're going to apply that to both sides. So 2 divided by 2 cancels, and we're left with 8 plus y2, and that equals 5.5 times 2, which is 11. Solving for y2, we subtract the 8 from both sides. 8 minus 8 cancels, and y2 is going to be 11 minus 8, which is just 3. So the other endpoint is 3. Uh, the other y coordinate is 3. So the endpoint B is going to be 7, 3. So click in the box, 7, click tab, 3. Now I'll show you an interesting shortcut. You want to remember that the distance. The distance from one endpoint to the midpoint is the same as the distance from the midpoint to the other endpoint. Okay, we said that point A was the endpoint, point M was the midpoint, this was given in the write-up, and point B was the other endpoint. So, if you went from, we're looking at the X coordinates now, if you went from negative one to three, in terms of adding or subtracting, you would have to add 4, right? Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So just add 4 again to that x coordinate, okay, plus 4, and 3 plus 4 will give you 7. All right, and then just do the same thing for the y coordinates, okay? How do you get from 8? to 5.5. Well, that's going to be minus 2.5, right? So you just apply that again to this coordinate. Do minus 2.5 once again, and that will give you 3. So there's your answer. So you can use algebra, but you can also use the shortcut if you like. All right, I'll do one more using the shortcut. 
It gives us two coordinates for point A and point M, which is the midpoint, and they want us to find the other endpoint B. So point A is an endpoint, point M is a midpoint, and point B is the other endpoint. Okay, so let's see the x coordinates. How do we get from negative 6 to 0? Well, that will be plus 6. So you want to apply plus 6 again, starting from the 0. Okay, 0 plus 6 is 6. And now just do the same thing for the y coordinate. How do we get from 8 to 0 0.5? Well, that's going to be minus 7.5. So we apply this again, again to the 0 0.5. Just do minus 7.5. Okay, 0 0.5 minus 7.5 is going to be a negative 7. So the other endpoint is 6, negative 7. So click in the box, six, click tab, negative seven. All right, and again, if you're just given the two endpoints, that's very easy. You just find the average X and the average Y.